Welcome to the Fox 5, the show that explores the wonderful world of Fox rehabilitation through an original list created by a Fox colleague. And we welcome back to the Fox 5, Fox Rehabilitation Occupational Therapist, Amanda Cable. Amanda, welcome back. All right, happy to be back. Were you were you Cable on the last episode of the Fox Five? Or no, were you Strauss? I was, I was Strauss. <laughs> All right, the new Amanda Cable, and unbeknownst to everyone watching today, I just conducted a ten minute interview of your honeymoon in Italy. Yes, you did. It was actually perfect timing because. Jim wants to go to Italy. So I want to go to a- Italy. And I was like, Amanda, like I just Googled and found nothing. Can I pick your brain? And you, you are much more valuable than Google, at least today. I was going to say, you- I put it out to everyone. I planned my trip. If you need any help, just call me. <laughs> I'm here for you. I will give you all the resources. <laughs> Ocu- occupational therapist and vacation planner, Amanda Cable. We just do it all. <laughs> And we're going to add another feather to your cap because today you're going to give people tips on the NBCOT. Yes, I am. Do you remember the NBCOT? Unfortunately, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And for those that don't know, that is the National Board for Certification in Occupational Therapy Examination. And for those that know... They know, and um, you're going to break it down today, right? I sure am. <laughs> Five tips on how to successfully take the NBC OT. So, Amanda, what is number one on your Fox 5 today? So, number one is definitely making a schedule. That was really important for me when I was studying, just holding myself accountable and kind of laying out how many weeks I wanted to study, when I was going to take the exam, and what I was going to study on what days leading up to the exam. And were you good at keeping true to that schedule? Yeah, I'm a very hands-on schedule type of person. I feel like that's why I'm an OT. Um, (laughs) I love a good schedule. (laughs) So organization is like number one to me. So yes, having that in front of me was, I pretty much stuck with it the whole time. (laughs) Nice. I I feel that because I'm a checklist person. So as soon as I write it down, I've got to do it and mark it off my checklist. And it feels good when you check it off. Yes. Yes, like you've accomplished something. Yes, exactly. Yep. Couldn't agree more. Amanda, that brings us to number two on your Fox 5. Number two is researching different resources. So there's so many things out there that are helpful when you're studying. Um, I found AOTA's website was really great. Um, Facebook groups of people who are also studying and sharing resources was awesome. There's podcasts you can listen to and just different study groups to be a part of. So definitely researching and taking the time to find other OTs who are in the same position as you and reaching out to them and seeing what works or what didn't work. Yeah. Don't be lazy. Don't just go to one place, go to several places to do that research. Absolutely. Because different people post their different styles. We're not all the same. You know, it helps to find things that are going to work for you because it could work for me. But if someone else is taking the exam, it didn't work well for them. So finding what works for you. Nice. I, that, that could be a tip in itself. Is, is that mm-hmm. on Amanda's Fox 5? We'll find out. What is number <laughs> three? Um, a big one for me, it was note cards making note cards. Um, Like I said, I'm a very hands-on person and the visual of it was helpful. Um, I would have a stack on my desk. I would review them in the morning, kind of put them aside. I would kind of make a pile of, I know this really well, I need to review this, or I don't know this at all. So it kind of helped kind of show where I was progressing and how I was getting better if I had a note card in front of me. Um, Also all color coded, you know, all the different things of organization that we talked about. But those were a really big help for me, especially. This this warms my heart. You're one of our younger clinicians when compared to the entire Fox field. And you do a lot of work for us on social media. And it warms my heart that you're still using note cards. Because I feel like that's um, such an old-fashioned thing. Like, people would just use their phones. I love it that you're still using note cards. Oh, my gosh. I have so many note cards. I have some in my bag for work still. I pull them out all the time when I'm working with people. I was like, what color do you want today? Like, what do we want to post on your wall? Oh, I am so – and my friends make fun of me all the time because I still have a planner. I don't 
put things on my calendar on no. my phone. I have the physical planner. So no, nothing, <laughs> nothing but respect from me. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Amanda, that brings us to number four on your Fox five. Number four is have someone quiz you. So kind of take it away from just studying on your own, but having like a parent, a friend be like, Hey, can you go through my note cards or can you go through this section for me and have me recite it to you? Have me say it out loud. So I know I know it. And then I can teach you, especially like I told my parents, like they are not healthcare at all, but I would teach them things that I was studying and I felt more confident in it. And then it actually stuck with me more because I was teaching it in a different way outside of my own study. I had a giant test to get my master's degree from Syracuse. And this is totally bringing me back to that time. And I love that one because you can study yourself and you kind of know what lanes to take. But when you bring in that outside factor, it makes you work a different part of your brain. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that brings us to number five on your Fox five. Number five is to be confident. Honestly, number one, if you don't believe that you're going to pass the exam, you're not going to, you could know it left and right. But if you don't believe in yourself, um, it's just not going to work. It's a lot of mental game going into that exam. Um, I had, you get a little whiteboard when you go in and I wrote my credentials at the top I wrote my future credentials that I was going to get it. It was the biggest confidence boost ever. Um, I sat out there. I got my morning coffee. I listened to my favorite music. Like I did all the things that make me feel good going into my exam and it worked out and I felt good even leaving it. And it just was a huge relief to be done. Uh, But I feel like a lot of it had to come from that confidence in myself that I put in the time. I knew what I wanted to do. And this was the final step to finally say, like, I did it. I'm going to be an OT. What did you do to celebrate when you passed the NBC OT? Um, So when I got my passing score, I literally drove to my parents' work individually. Didn't text them, didn't do anything. (laughs) I literally just drove there and I ran and I'm like, I passed. (laughs) So that was super fun. And then we went out to dinner and celebrated that night. So it was worth it. It was so fun. And my husband, now husband, got me a cookie cake with my passing score nice. on it. So Nice. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for the tips. And then good luck to anyone who is taking the NBCOT. One day you can be like Fox Rehabilitation superstar, Amanda Cable. Yes. Good luck, everyone. So for Amanda Cable, my name is Jim Shear, and we will see Yens later. Later.